Hi, Liz Ness here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool honeycomb pattern. Um, now, the one thing about the honeycomb pattern is that the initial tile is actually a rectangle rather than a square, and Procreate is usually looking for a square. So there's a little trick at the end, sort of towards the end of the video. I show you how to first bake the tile, and then I show you what to do so that you can change the size so that it doesn't look all elongated and out of proportion. Um, and it's just a really simple trick. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I have open here a 12 inch by 12 inch by 300 dpi document, which translates to 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. I just like to start big. And we're going to get our canvas prepared by tapping our wrench and canvas and drawing guide, and then we're going to edit our drawing guide. And let's see, we're going to dial up the thickness and the opacity to begin with. And you can make it any color you like. You can go with red if you want. And let's see, I think I'm going to, let's just play with the size a little bit here. Let's see, I just happen to know that I kind of want a grid that's um, for this, for it's 10, basically 1060 um, gives me sort of these partitions that I want. So that's what I'm going to choose here. So done. It's sort of, it's about, it's about three, three sections altogether. So anyway, 1060 is what you want. So go ahead and tap done when you're all good. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the essential shapes that you can get for free when you sign up for the newsletter. And we're going to select this hexagon. Okay. And then make sure it's dialed all the way up. And then we're going to want our opacity all the way up too. And then just tap in the center there. And then we're going to select our move and transform tool. And we're just going to line that up like that. And then we're going to tap a corner and we're going to change the size. Um, the size is just a little too small for what we're doing here. So we're going to tap, uh, uh, change that to 2200 pixels. And we want to make sure that the link is uh, uh, blue because we want everything to change and uh, keep the scale and proportions. So, okay. And then of course we need to move this back in. Whoop. There we go. And I have snapping on right here. And you can tell when you have everything lined up because you get those little golden lines intersecting. So that's what I want. Okay. And when you're satisfied there, just go ahead and deselect that move and transform tool. Okay, so now we're going to go back over to our layers, and I'm going to just gently slide to the left and duplicate this. And I'm going to select the transform tool again, and now I'm going to bring this up, and I want to line up halfway for the picture um, on the side there, but I actually want to put the point of this image right on that one line. That's why we uh, set the grid the way we did. Okay, and when it's all lined up and we're, we're good, we're just going to go ahead and deselect that transform tool. So once more, we're going to select layer one and duplicate it. Select the transform tool. And this time we're coming down here. Let's make this a little smaller. We're going to come down to the bottom here and we want the halfway mark there, but we want the point again on this line. So just like that. So the golden line right here is telling us that we're halfway and we've got that point on that line right there. Oops. There we go. Okay. And when that's done, go ahead and uh, tap the transform tool to deselect it. Now let's go ahead and take that top one and tap the layer there and then tap merge down so that we have a layer like that. And now let's go ahead and duplicate it. And then we're going to go ahead and select the transform tool again. And we're going to flip this horizontally and then we're going to move it all the way over to the side, just like that. And you can see that it's all lined up because of, you know, let's do that again because of all the gold lines everywhere. It's awesome. Okay, so once you've got that, you can deselect that transform tool again. So now we're ready to go ahead and cut our shape. So the thing about Procreate is that the patterns generally like to, uh, they, they put patterns in as a square, but we're actually going to change the shape. So that means there's a couple other steps. And uh, at the end, I'll show you what to do to uh, accommodate the squishiness uh, of the shape that we're going to make now. So let's go ahead and select our wrench again. And this time under canvas, we're going to select crop and resize. And we're going to drag this all the way down to those points right there. And the same thing, we're going to drag this up all the way to the points, just like that. And we're basically making a rectangular tile. And we've got that, and you're satisfied, go ahead and tap done. And now this is what it looks like. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and turn off our uh, drawing guide now. 
and you can see that this is a rectangular rather than a square uh, tile and this is going to be okay we're going to we're going to make it so that it will look just fine in our uh, as a texture so let's go ahead and tap our wrench and we're going to go over to add and copy canvas we're going to make our texture brush now um, I have already in demos, I have a demos pile here, um, a texture starter. And you can get the essential starters when you sign up for the newsletter as well. Let me just show you what those look like. Let's see, essential starters right there. It has a stamp starter, a text starter, a texture, um, a big pattern stamp starter um, that's just a stamp and a pattern. So it has all these different options, including um, one that's along a path and one that's parallel to a path and these are all available too but I've just basically taken a copy of this and dumped it into demos because that's where I want to put my new brush so once there I'm going to tap that brush and then uh, these essential starters are great because they tell you where to put the picture so uh, it would either be shape or grain and shape doesn't have anything here it says put it here but grain does so that's the image we're going to go ahead and replace so we're going to tap edit import and paste and I know our picture looks really weird right now that's okay I'm gonna double tap this because I want the lines to be the thing that actually uh, is colored and then I'm gonna tap done and here's where the little magic happens we're gonna go over to shape and this looks really long right now because we imported something that wasn't a square so it's made it all sort of squishy and weird that's okay so under shape we have this nice circle and what we're going to do is just kind of squeeze down until we get the shape back to sort of a truer uh, truer size there so now it looks looks just fine so that's how you do that okay so we're gonna go ahead and well let's go ahead and name our brush let's call this hive goodness <laughs> I don't know if you're allergic to bees maybe this isn't hive goodness <laughs> maybe it's scary all right let's tap done when we're done okay and oh actually you know one more thing let's make this a little bit easier to recognize when we see it we're going to go to uh, properties and we're going to use the stamp preview let's just do that oh that's not so great either <laughs> okay let's go back to not stamp but let's make the preview a little bit tinier so that maybe more of it shows up eh, it's it's not great but it'll do for now so i'm going to leave it just like that okay so now let's go ahead and test our shape i'm going to go ahead and open up a new document here let's go ahead and open up a 12 by 12. squish that down and then let's go ahead and ooh, that looks like a pretty color um okay we're going to dial up our shape and then start painting it on it's really cool and this brush i made it so you can pick up your finger and lay it back down again so that you can you know you don't have to worry about like keeping your finger down so that you you know cover get good coverage um, you can make a brush where you can overlay it on uh, like keep on overlaying it which is kind of a neat thing too but for a texture like this you, you kind of don't want to do that so all right so this is how we do this and like I said you know you can just change the shape when it gets all um, sort of squished and out of proportion you can go ahead and change that shape just using that um, that shape brush um, feature down here so that you can squish the shape of the brush itself and that's it that's all there is to it if you've enjoyed this video please be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you're notified when new videos become available meanwhile i hope your day is amazing